It's official, Senate destroys Obama's 51 to 49. Americans are cheering. If President Trump persists with his habit of fulfilling his campaign promises, or at least his working tirelessly to fulfill them in spite of an unhelpful Congress, he's going to make life difficult for those who refuse to help him. Politicians love to make promises on the campaign trail only to promptly forget them on winning the election. President Trump is breaking that mold and it has to make office holders uncomfortable. We may not remember what Mr. Obama promised during his campaigns for president regarding spending, but we certainly remember what happened. It exploded under his misgovernment of our nation. In fact, he ran up spending to a level in excess of all his predecessors combined. Quite an accomplishment, and one that we and our children and grandchildren will have to deal with. President Trump promised to put a stop to such out-of-control spending while reforming our convoluted and incomprehensible income tax code. These are critical issues that should have been dealt with decades ago. Now is none too soon. Hence, we can be encouraged that under President Trump's leadership, the Senate has passed a budget bill, which is a prelude to passing tax reform. Senate Republicans narrowly passed a $4 trillion budget plan Thursday, taking their first big step towards a tax reform package promised by President Donald Trump. Approval of the non-binding plan allows the Senate to use a special process known as budget reconciliation that would forestall a Democratic filibuster. So, the Democrats can watch as President Trump and the Republicans turn back more of the disastrous policies of the Obama administration. Deprived of their power to filibuster, the Democrats really don't have much to do but watch and complain. Tonight, we completed the first step towards replacing our broken tax code by passing a comprehensive, fiscally responsible budget that will help put the federal government on a path to balance, said Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. We've ha we have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to replace a failing tax code that holds Americans back with one that works for them. The Senate plan approved on a 51 to 49 vote calls for $473 billion in cuts from Medicare over 10 years and more than $1 trillion from Medicaid. Uh, if fully implemented, the plan would cut spending by more than $5 trillion over the next 10 years with an average of approximately $540 billion per year over the life of the plan, according to a Congressional Budget Office estimate. Clearly, this is a powerful step in the right direction. No nation can recklessly spend itself into prosperity. Governments can push numbers around, manipulate the economy and markets, and push the consequences of such recklessness into the future, but someday the future arrives, and it is a crime to burden future generations with the excesses of their parents and grandparents. Unfortunately, Mr. Obama failed uh, presidency, was allowed by weak Republican leadership in Congress to drive our nation further into debt. With President Trump in charge, things are different. different. Congress has no excuse for not controlling spending and reforming our labyrinth uh, and grossly unfair tax system. The voters must make certain the Republicans in Congress understand they will hold their feet to the fire to make certain this opportunity is not missed. I just say, stop paying for illegals and there you have your money. That's basically the bottom line. And look how close the vote was, 51 to 49, just barely making it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.